Hello, my name is Tom Walker Jones. And my name is Mary Kidd. And we'd like to talk to you in this video about this book, Strong, Brave, True Great Scots Who Changed the World and How You Can Too. And what we'd like to do, we're going to make a few videos, is tell you in each one about a different one of the Great Scots. And who are we going to talk about today, Tom? Wilhelmina Fleming, I think, is a good idea. Wilhelmina Fleming. So here we go. I'm going to show you the pictures and Tom is going to read you the story of Wilhelmina Fleming. Are we sitting comfortably? I am. Right then. In 1888, Wilhelmina Fleming recorded a cloud of gas and dust in the constellation Orion. She had discovered the Horsehead Nebula. Just one of hundreds of stars and nebulae she discovered in her amazing career as an astronomer. Wilhelmina wasn't always a scientist. She was born in Dundee, where she worked as a teacher. She emigrated to America, but her husband abandoned her and their child. Boo! Boo! And so Wilhelmina had to take work as a maid in the home of Professor Edward Charles Pickering, the director of an important observatory at Harvard College. Pickering was fed up with his young male students and instead he employed Wilhelmina and a group of women. The story goes that Pickering told the students, my Scottish maid could do better, and she did. Wilhelmina became an honorary fellow of the Royal Astronomer... Ast Astronomical. Thank you. Society of London and received other honours. But not immediately. In fact, it took some time for her to even receive a proper credit for her work. The first time her name was printed as the discoverer of the Horsehead Nebula was in 1908. This was 20 years after she first found it. And here, boo. boo, here we've got Williamina saying, that's not very fair. Sorry, she's saying, hang on, that's not fair. And the great Scot is great. <laughs> Strong Brave Drew. It used to be called Great Scott when we were first working on it. Strong Brave Drew is full of women who were not given proper credit for their work or proper credit for their discoveries because throughout history, women have not had the same opportunities as men. Although in another one of our videos, we're going to talk about another Scottish woman who did amazing things. We hope you've liked hearing about Williamina Fleming. And we hope you would like to find out a bit more about her. So what we've done is created a, an activity pack. Um, maybe at home you, you don't want to print off this front sheet because it's got a lot of colour and it'll run out all your ink quickly. Uh, but the activity pack includes a fact sheet on nebulae. Nebulae is the plural of nebula. Did you know that, Tom? Uh, I do now. You do now. And a nebula is a cloud of gas and dust in space. Williamina discovered the Horsehead Nebula. And inside nebulae, stars are born. So we've got a fact sheet about how stars are born. That one's really fascinating. I've only just found out myself and it's very interesting. Uh, we've got a creative writing task. What, why are we doing space creative writing, Tom? Because our imaginations can just explode. Exactly. So there's some creative writing prompts here that are really fun. You can write a story about a spaceship crewed by space monkeys or anything you fancy. And then lastly, we've got a craft activity. And this lets you make an amazing picture of a nebula using nail polish, an old takeaway carton and water. That's all on a piece of paper, but you need permission from an adult to do that one, especially the adult who owns the nail polish. Um, I made one. I made my nebula. There you go. Isn't it pretty? And what I've done with mine is cut the corners to make it into a bookmark. And then I've put on a tassel from an old earring that had lost its friend, which means that I can pop that in Strong Brave True. Ah, I know what I'll do. I think I'll put it in Strong Brave True with the story of the next people that we're going to talk about in a video, if I can find them. Charles Rennie McIntosh and Margaret MacDonald McIntosh. So I'll put my bookmark in and we hope you'll come back.